bit of a different start to my day. I'm thinking about getting some shots of the coasters from outside the park with my new camera that I got recently. So let's do that before heading in. Bosses on the board for uh, rides that are not available. Not sure if that's gonna be accurate enough. Then again, it is fairly cold out. Definitely coldest day of the season so far, at least since the beginning. I mean, opening day was brutal. It was so cold. As I was getting some shots from outside of the park, I didn't see Boss run once. I know how to tell if it's testing. Like, if I can hear that testing siren, I'll know it's testing. So, I'm not gonna put it past them to get Boss open up later, but as of now, I'm not too excited about that. I'll check back out there later. combining the flash pass entrance to Justice League with a single rider line. In the past, they would have had flash pass line for Justice League go in through the exit, but it seems like both now share the same line, so hopefully this doesn't make things uh, more confusing. Second screen max to start off today, but that Joker animatronic is still down. It's been down for about a month now. So let's go for round two and then go ride Mr. Free to Boss Animal. Maxed out Justice League twice, and uh, Boss still is not open yet, so I'm gonna ride Mr. Freeze and then check back up there in a little bit. I just realized that I have not gotten a Rookie Racer now ride yet, which you can uh, kind of see it going there. Speaking of it, that was recently added to Flash Pass. I did not expect them to add that on there so soon. I mean, Catwoman, which is uh, up there, that opened last year, and that still has not been added, but Rookie Racer just opened last week and it's added on Flash Pass, so I'm surprised they put Rookie Racer on there before Catwoman, but hey, I'm not complaining. was solid. Not quite as good as my other rides recently, I feel like, but it was still solid. I could go for round three on Justice League right now, but I'm not gonna because Boss is testing. So let's go up there and get on that one when it does open. <laughs> Quite a bit of waiting. Boss is finally open. Let's uh, see if we can get first train, which I am using Flash Pass for this because Mainline was backed up and I was able to get in front of Flash Pass line. But I'm not sure they'll let Flash Pass on first. They might let Mainline on first. If not, that's all right. Let's get on this and uh, be glad it's actually open because I did not think it would open today. I pretty much had to go up and around, but I still got first round of the day front row on the boss. That was a really, really good ride there. Not quite as smooth as I remembered, but uh, it was decently intense. I actually brought it with the first timer, so that was pretty cool. I just realized they repainted this uh, sign, it looks like. I don't know if that was uh, like that last
change gears or wait for it based on somebody being on the wrong tire and uh, somebody being able to just fly right by. It's all about you know. You just gotta be able to, to anticipate those changes and, and time is key. I'm actually gonna go uh, do Justice League some more because I've only written that one twice today because I spent a lot of my day waiting for Boss to open, which uh, it took about, I don't know, 45 minutes maybe. So not the best idea, but hey, at least I got on it because it could close early. So really glad I did that, but I did. I'm gonna go over and uh, ride Justice League a few more times. I also wanna get up to, uh, I think, 14.30 and I'm at 14.13. So 17 more to go. Let's uh, go do that. I'm actually, please go. Still, still just I might get to that one again later, but if I don't, then it's not the biggest deal, but it would be nice to get on a second time. So let's, I guess, head down towards Justice League and get a few more maxes in on that one.
backed out just a few more times and then I just rode Rookie Racer again. I got a front row ride with Ellis to uh, him, my brother Sky, and his friend Lane are going to go ride Bonus because they haven't done it yesterday. I've already ridden it. And uh, Rookie Racer was really solid. Decent laterals and uh, it was overall a lot of fun. Now I'm going to go take a ride on Scream and Eagle and then I'll catch up with them after the I think they're going to come up to ride Eagle after. So yeah, we got Pandemonium, which I'm not going to probably ride in that. But yeah, that one looks like that's their uh, got kind of killed off of it. Hey, I don't know. The guy killed off of it. I've seen him get killed off much worse. So I'm going to go ride Scream and Eagle and uh, catch back with them after that. I'm making a bit of a detour on the way up to Screaming Eagle because I have missed some Scooby Doo props. Like this one is in the room, right in between the room with the Ghost of Redbeard and the Funland. We shot some of these targets, like this one right here, caused that thing up top to move. And then on these sides here, if we shot either of those two, those lights are on, then if we shot the target up top, this drop right to an Is there anything on the back side? Which, uh, no, there wasn't because that side was never visible. It was only these three sides. Well, let's go take a look and see what else we can find. In the same room as that building over here, we have this the castle sign. This one was directly across from that building. If you're not familiar with the props that I'm talking about in this video, which I'm sure hardly any of you are familiar with the old Scooby Doo ride, I'll post the link to a couple POVs I've been using in this video in the description of this one so you guys can check it out. So you can see where all these props are located. This to the castle sign was right next to Fred Daphne and Velma, which came from behind this log and was pointing to a moonlit castle. So that's what this is for. This cardboard cutout, I have absolutely no idea what part of the old Scooby I think it was either from somewhere in the first room of the ride, like right when you enter the scary swamp, or one of the last rooms, I think the one where the mystery machine drives out of here. So my guess is it was in one of those two rooms, but then again, I don't know for sure because I don't think I've ever seen this prop before. I think I know where this prop in the front is from. I think in the room where the old uh, laboratory section was, like right before the sign that says uh, dungeon this way or wherever, there were these uh, cutouts where I think Scooby and a ghost came up from behind one of these. And this is one of the three they used from that. On the back side here, we have some more grass it looks like. This might have been from in the room where the cardboard cutout back there was, or it was in the same room where the to the castle sign and that other building were. But then again, I don't know 100% sure, but I think those are just my guesses. Let's uh, go take a look because we got quite a few more actually I've mentioned these trees in a previous vlog, but as for where in the ride these are from, I don't know about this one, this one, and this one. As for this one, we're absolutely in the first room of the ride. I think this was either in the room with the Tuba Castle sign or in the ending scene, which I think was a graveyard. So this was in a, one of those two. I don't know exactly where in the ride this tree is from. This, I absolutely know where this is from. After the Funland section, there was the lift hill to ride, and these knights were on the left side. There were, I think, two others. I think one of the other ones was inside of this building. So let's go and uh, take a look. Exactly, this uh, old train station in the back of the park, but they're not using it for breakfast. We actually got another tree back there, but I don't know which particular that one is from. It's like two of them. Can't really get a good look at those, but uh, if I can find a better spot, I'll go take a look at them. But uh, yeah, this is one of the nights that was next to Scooby Doo's lift hill. Now we're inside the train station, and the first thing we have here is we're looking at some drawings or paintings of some lightning silhouettes. There were some lights with these same silhouettes in the first room, like in the first swamp portion. These in particular are in the same room as the To the Castle sign and uh, that other building I'm talking about. These were up near the ceiling. Definitely not as prevalent as the actual lightning lights. Ah yes, the infamous flower. There was one target on it that if you shot it, it would squirt water at you. That was probably my least favorite target on that ride because I didn't like getting wet by this thing. There were actually two of these flowers in the fun land room. They were on uh, both sides of this uh, one prop that I don't know if it's still in the park somewhere or not. Some skulls on a tent where the ghost cloud would come out at you. Definitely my least favorite target too. I have absolutely no idea what this is from, like this chair. I feel like this might have been in the castle scene, which is where a lot of these props actually originate from. I think this wall was in the castle scene. This skeleton in the chair, same thing. And uh, this table, which uh, I think right after you went down the drop of Scooby, this might have been the skeleton in the chair sitting at this table. That's my theory. But I, mean, I don't remember that part too well in terms of details, but that's my theory as to what that old segment was like. They actually do have both other nights in here. This is the one that used to have a shaggy head, which uh, is no longer in there, but this ghost right here, there was a dining room table in the castle scene, and this ghost could be seen, I think it was on the left, holding a 
uh, this display with like some lettuce and then a skull on it. And if you shot this target up here, this would open up and reveal that skull. We have this cool little brick wall prop here, which I don't know what this is from. I guess it's somewhere in the castle scene. And last and certainly not least, we have these bookshelves. If you shot some of these targets, which you can kind of see there's one there, one there, and then another one right there, some of these different lights would turn on. One of these in particular, I think, tipped over it, if I remember it correctly. To my knowledge, I think those are all the other props that I might have missed from Scooby Doo Ghost Blasters, the mystery of the scary swamp. Now, if I find some other ones at the park for us today, I will point those out as well, but I think I got all the major ones. Actually, I might have forgotten this thing right here, but I don't think I've even seen this anywhere on the ride, so I have absolutely no idea what this is from. showing Ella some of the props of the Scooby-Doo ride, I completely forgot about this one, and I know where this is. In the queue line for the ride, there was a sign that said, welcome to the scary swamp with this, uh, I don't know what that creature is. What do you think that creature is, Ellis? I can't tell. It looks like some, like, myth mythological dragon of some sort. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, and, uh, yeah. I know, because on the side here, there's a speaker, which I remember sometimes that makes some sound. I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I know what this is now. So, yeah, I don't know how I missed this one, but. It kind of looks like, acts, acts like a gargoyle, too, because they sleep during the day by stone, and then they wake, awaken by night, so. Fair enough. Yeah. But yeah, that's, uh, some I feel like I should have gotten, but, oh, there's no one it's from now. was easily the best ride of the day. Back row on Mr. Freeze. I don't know what to say about that. What'd you think, Ellis? It was fun by fast, dude. Yeah, so like, intense. The ride operator was like, do you want the countdown or do you want it to surprise? But we obviously know when it's still coming well, anyway. Yeah, because so. we're going to hear the brakes releasing behind us in the launch tunnel. The launch felt so much more intense than what it usually is in the back row even. Funny story, I am wearing a Top Thrill Dragster shirt right now. Before we got on, the ride up up at the panel was like, has anyone ridden Top Thrill Dragster at Cedar Point? And I said, I did, and I'm wearing a shirt for it and the ride up was always like keep arms down head back and hold on like top the dragster used to do so that was a hilarious way to start that awesome ride it'll be a tough one to beat that's for sure
That is a giant line for boss right there. I did American Thunder, which despite getting stapled, I really enjoyed it, and I maxed out Justice League. Because they're merging Flash Hats and Single Rider in the same line now, that took a lot longer than it would have otherwise. Let's do boss now, and then I'll go try Rookie Racer now for my first time. <laughs> I said about Mr. Freeze being the best ride of the day. Boss just bodied that thing. Also, why was that like the smoothest ride I've ever had on this? Like, I'm not even kidding. It wasn't rough at all. I was shocked. We're gonna go ride Rookie Racer at night now, and then I still haven't done Screaming Eagle yet, so we're gonna go up and get on Eagle after we do Rookie. <laughs> night ride on Rookie Racer. While I did enjoy it, I feel like I was expecting a bit more from this ride, honestly. It might be my least favorite night ride in this park. Still enjoyed it. It was going fast at certain times still, but riding it at night was worth it. Yeah, so. but then again, I feel like I wasn't expecting it to feel almost identical, honestly. I mean, I thought it would feel a little bit faster at night, which it really didn't, honestly. So, that's unfortunate. Maybe if I get a night ride in the summer, I'll think differently, but then again, it's gotta be like, what, no one's like 50 degrees out? So, I don't know. Boss wasn't gonna work again, because I wanted to try and get a longer marathon in on Justice League in case the single rider line is long because they're merging flash fast and single riders in. So I decided to come up to Scream and Eagle and my gosh, that was dark. I forgot how dark it was without the moon lighting the track. Because Ellis, the last night you and I realized at night the moon was lighting the track, but that was so dark. Yes, it was, man. I mean, as soon as we went over that second hill, saw how dark it was. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot how dark this ride is at night. Was it better than Boss? Definitely not. I have Boss bodies all kosher for kids. That was still really good, though. Now let's go start marathoning Justice League because I pretty much got never everything done that I wanted to. I, mean, I do want to ride Batman, but if I choose between that or getting a longer marathon and on Justice League, I'd choose the latter. So let's head down to Justice League. I don't think we've ever been so close in the first screen before. We both had like what, over 600,000? Yes, we both did, man. That was really good. Like, I thought you were gonna beat me in the first screen. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's gonna beat me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thought I barely got away with that. But I'm actually in the glitch in between the second and third screen. So that was pretty cool. We both maxed it out second screen just now. Yeah, I, I just don't haven't know. pulled off tonight, man. We both maxed it on the second screen in the same car, man. Yeah, and you have like what, 830 something thousand out of the first one? Yep. Yeah, I had 870 something thousand, which I could have easily broken 900,000 in the first screen, but I threw it at the end there. I completely messed up. So that was interesting. But first time we both uh, maxed it second screen. Even though I was not able to dual wield all day, I was able to on my last ride, and I went way too insane and double maxed it. Ellis actually maxed, so we got a triple max. What'd you think? That was insane, dude. I feel like I've been getting way better with the game lately. Yeah, like the fact that we both have maxed it second screen yeah. was just remarkable. Not to mention that I almost threw in that last ride. Like I thought for sure I was gonna mess up in the fifth screen there, which I was missing. And my like, oh jeez. So I've got to turn that away because you guys can't see. 
that. It had like 999,900 and the uh, middle of the last screen, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm missing. I, I was completely missing my shot. And then I'd hit something and I got it. I'm like, oh man. Imagine if the screen froze the rest of the time and I missed it. Dude, that would have been messed up, dude. And that would have been the closest you could have possibly have gotten to it maxing it without yeah. actually doing it. Like a <laughs> hundred off. That was a great last visit to Fright Fest for a couple weeks. And I'll explain why that is in just a minute. Final ride coming from today was 17 on Justice League, four on Rookie Racer, two on Boss, two on Mr. Freeze, and one on American Thunder and Screaming Eagle. Highlights of today, those awesome rides on Boss, Freeze, and Eagle, which Boss and Freeze are going neck and neck for what is the best coaster in the park for today, at least. And then that double max on Justice League. Holy cow, that was a close one. Can't believe that I got it after almost throwing entirely in the fifth screen. That was awesome. And then uh, Ellis and I maxing in second screen in the same vehicle was also awesome. That pretty much does it for this vlog. Before I click off this video, please just really like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, I have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. I said that this will be my last visit to Fry for a couple weeks, and why is that? Because the week after I'm recording this, I will be going to Worlds of Fun for Haunt, and I hopefully should be getting on Zambezi Zinger. That'll be exciting, so stay tuned for that vlog. Until then, I'll see you later.